Hey everybody, Joe Zero here. Welcome back to another episode of Wastelands Wednesday. Today we have this thing, the Baja Bison T5. Total fantasy hauler. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that coming, did you? Let's crack it open and see what we got. Alrighty, it's big, it's huge, it's ugly, it's huge and ugly. Very interesting design, some sort of fantasy electric race truck. Apparently T5 racing is a thing, so yeah. New casting for 2023, so let's see what we can do with it. Definitely a roller. So now we got out the package, time to drill it apart, and whoa. Uh -oh, did I miss? Try again, and... Oh, it's plastic. <laughs> Whoops, that was easy. Let me just grab my rig drill bit and uh, knock it out. So used to doing the metal bodies, I didn't expect plastic. I, you know, it's obvious when you look at it, but yeah, big metal base on this thing. So anywho, get the plastic wands out the way. So now we're gonna crack it open and uh, yep, big metal base, giant ugly tires. Okay. Do something about those wheels, but what else we got? We got the base. Weird mechanical bits, spare tires, energy reactors. Looks like comfy driver's seats. That's kind of cool. Big luxury cab for long hauls. Okay. A clear glass with partitions. Nice windshield. And the plastic body, which I didn't realize was plastic until I drilled it. Yay. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So now back in the lab, I got it all stripped down with some LA Totally Awesome. Took all the tampos right off. That was cool. Got these weird tires. Not sure what to do with that. Definitely like the windshield look. So now we got this Jada Just Trucks 57 Suburban. And take that apart and use the base of the wheels. It's kind of neat because these things have screws holding it together. Kind of like a Spin Masters Monster Jams. It's a little more fiddly. A little more, get, oh, come on. Seriously? Ah, right, we meant to take it apart. <laughs> Very cool. Even the bottom portion's held on by screws, so interesting design. We will definitely revisit these Jada trucks. I had so many weird ideas coming up with this thing, so uh, bear with me. We're gonna take the uh, monster truck First, I thought about just using off-road tires from another like Baja thing, but it just keeps doing stuff. And when I got to messing at it, it occurred to me or just realized, wow, this thing fits perfectly where it should. Does it move right on target? In fact, if I turn it around and put the back to the front, then you get this. And it's still a really solid fit. Oh yeah. <laughs> So now we're gonna contemplate the mock-up. Definitely some gaps I gotta fill in, so that. Not sure what to do here. The sides need some work. The back needs some work, as you can see right through it, but uh, yeah, that's the idea. Something on the sides. Got this really cool gun. Gonna put that up front, like for protection. <laughs> so we dig into your bits bag for inspiration. Came up with some cool pieces that I'm gonna try to fit into this or work into the build. Like uh, this piece of Warhammer stuff that I've glued in as a cattle catcher. Kind of made some adjustments. Took some tank parts and filled in the gaps. Got some styrene card. Here's some wire I may use on something. Gun, not sure where to put the gun yet. So uh, working on it. So this part of the build was a little pesky. Decided to make a wire cage to protect the large glass front as opposed to just meshing, screening it in and doing the regular armor plating. So use some of that little tiny fine wire to build a grill. That way I can still utilize the windshield. This build took so many changes along the way. Put a baking soda there to make weld and kind of bond that in place and hold it down. 
All right. So fiddling around with it, use some accelerator to hold everything in place. Kind of looks like a football helmet in a way. Yeah. And after it's all dry, just use these metal files to kind of clean up the edges, remove the excess, get rid of some of the lumpy chunks in there. So clean it up. So after messing around with it off camera and adding stuff and doing this, lost some footage because I shot it at the wrong frame rate. <laughs> yeah. Got parts from a Star Wars toy and Warhammer bits and everything. And actually, I uh, took the rubber tires off because these just trucks have real rubber tires. Get out. How cool is that? This way I can take and prime it up and then put the real rubber tires back on after the fact. And we got it back from primer. Starting to look less confused and certainly weird as always. Let's move on to paint, shall we? I'm going to start with all the metally bits, so i uh, give it some gun metal and just brush it all in there. Everything should be metal. Gets the metal treatment. Like these weird side panels of technological whatever gubbins. And the armor plates. All right. Sci-fi. This was a tough build for me, actually. I had so many weird ideas starting off. I didn't know which way to go with it, so... Along the way, I kept thinking of different things, and ultimately, I'll probably build a few more of these, you know? In my mind, it's sort of a desert hauler, like a caravan of these things, taking freight back and forth across the wastelands. So the next thing I want to address is the cockpit, or the interior. I closed in the gap back there with some spillage. But I'm going to hit the uh, interior with yellow, kind of a greeny yellow type thing, sort of simulate the cockpit glow of many instrument panels. In fact, these things could just be driverless and all remote controlled. Ooh, sci-fi. Now the next thing I do is just kind of make a nice black wash and kind of dirty up some of this metal to knock the shine down. Cause I'm about to get busy with more paint and stuff. So yeah, steady on with it. So now we're gonna go ahead and add some color to it. I chose gray, which essentially is not really a color. It's just a mix of black and white, but you know, gray. Like a futuristic Amazon Prime van. Yeah, Amazon. So starting to look pretty good. Use a darker blue gray for the uh, wheel well type activity, lower portion of the truck. Use some rough iron to kind of darken up some of the silvery areas for more metallic impact. You'll notice how the cabs all yell it out for the uh, electronic glow. And then we take and uh, go over with, with some weapons bronze to kind of bring out some more metallic shine. Just keep working the metallic textures. A lot of metal on this thing. All right. That's starting to really come together nice. Getting some definition, a little bit of tone. Got it looking good. So, let's get it funky. Gonna take this Agrax Earthshade wash here and just slather the whole car. Slather everywhere. Gives you some nice rusty effect. Ooh, gross. So having done that to do this, we take some lava orange and a little sponge and just start Dabba, 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 all over the truck. Help make that rust effect, don't you know? Wipe, smear. Your finger's really a great paint tool, by the way, just for future notice. And then we just repeat the process with some leather brown. Give it some more dabba, dabba, dabba all over the car, just to emulate the dust. You got dust and rust. Imagine that in the wastelands. Go figure. And after all that, we finally got it ready for the glamour shots. Wow, this thing was fun to build. Definitely a challenge. Lots of inspiration. Haven't seen anybody do a custom of these yet, so I figured, let's go. This will be one of the prizes for Death Race 2023, so still time to enter, guys. Hit me on Instagram at JoeZero for more information. I'll be posting a video soon with some gameplay, extended rules. It'll be great. I'll provide an email link in the description. 
race is August 18th, 19th, possibly the 20th, depending on the number of entrants. So more info in the video. Until the next one, guys, I hope you liked it. Take care. Peace, love, and good happiness stuff. God bless.